Welcome back to Zoom TV. I'm now with a man that I think is my twin, Jason Dundas, from The Big Adventure. Look at it, check it out. They separated birds. This is how I think you would look if you had hair. Well, if, you, if you didn't have hair. My, my dad's bald, my mum's dad's bald, my dad's dad's bald, so I will definitely look like you in about an hour. Now let's get down to business, okay? You are quite, it's fair for me to say that you're a quite experienced television person. Yeah. But you haven't done a lot of Australian television. You kind of skipped Australia and well, went to I America. Did, yeah, kind of. I sort of was on uh, Getaway for five years yeah. and then reached a point uh, at 28 where I had to make a decision. Do I want to sort of give it a gung-ho in Australia or try in the bigger pond, which is America? And so I skipped overseas and got lucky over there. And now uh, coming back to Australia in a big way with the big adventure on Channel 7, yeah. which is, uh, you know, it's just launched on, on TV here and the nation loves it and I'm just so proud of it. Everyone's talking about it, yeah. as you know. It's, yeah. only, um, it's only been on for a short time. Oh, mate, it's got and, a lot of buzz. And take us through it. I will. So, look, it's awesome. It's, it's 12 regular Aussies from early 20s to early 50s and they've all got a dream in life. They all, they all want to get a, a certain amount of money to be able to achieve something they want to do, whether they want to help out their family and friends, start a small business, uh, buy a house. They all have something they really want and passionate about, and one of these 12 is going to win a million bucks. Find a rock, you have a dead square. You find a golden key, you're one step closer to one million dollars. Now, we put them on this island like the Hunger Games environment. We make these guys live in the one house, work as teams, but then go against each other. So it is a psychological thriller. It gets very complex. And as people start leaving the island, you've got higher stakes for these guys left to win this million bucks. And is there gets... twists in there? Like, you, do you start them for food or challenge food? No, so I guess the difference about this show is we provide them with pretty cool accommodation and uh, enough food, but the whole twist in this show is you're competing in these grand challenges that require physical ability and smarts, and then you have to outwit other players in an arena where you compete against each other. Oh! oh. oh. There it goes! Okay, you ready for the fast fight? Yeah, talk to me. Okay, what was the first car you ever owned? First car I had was a 1985 Toyota Corolla. Now, what is your opinion of the worst car on the street? The worst car on the street. It must be that PT Cruiser. Yeah. That's a rubbish shape. Best car on the street and what? Best car on the street would be the Tesla because it's 100% uh, electric. It's sex on wheels, man. Uh, and what car do you currently drive now? I just bought a new whip. There you go. I bought a... Uh, and for the people at home that don't know what a whip oh, is. Oh, a new car. I just bought a new car over in LA. They're a yep, lot cheaper. Yep. I bought a gunmetal grey 3 Series BMW Coupe. Yep. Sits really low on the ground, black leather trim. <laughs> okay, so moving it on. Yeah. What is your biggest fear? My biggest fear is, I'm going to be very honest. Yep. Uh, I was filming on uh, Sydney Weekender the other day, and we were at Wet n Wild uh, in Sydney's uh, western suburbs, and there's a roller coaster, like a water slide called the, I think it's called a 360 drop and they put you in a tube about yay big, filled with water, and then they drop you vertically and spin you over and it goes black. Right. And my biggest fear is being in a water slide in the dark. Mate, you've been a champion. Cheers, Good man. luck with the show. Yeah, I know it's gonna so go much. well. Right. Awesome, and do me a favor and yeah. send me over a pair of the signed underwear. Done. Not for me, but for a friend. Done. Okay, done. <laughs> done.